What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Oh, he doesn't even know what it's called. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Wasn't a great clap. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Caleb's <laughs> off his clap game today. <laughs> Caleb's the clapper of the two of us. He's the one that claps in. Yeah, I, I get proud of it, and it's like, you know, people go, oh, when you do a high five, look at their shoulder, look at their elbow, and then you'll you'll nail it. Yeah. I I looked at both my elbows. Still couldn't, <laughs> still couldn't do it. Yeah. I'm man. the only one here. You can't clap if you don't look at your own elbow. I Everybody know. knows that. It's horrible. We are recording this episode for the first time in what's it called history Ooh, at our producer, Kyle buddy. Neal's home and it's a beautiful home unbelievable there's a big old plant here there's two cats we might see uh, if you're watching on youtube we might get a cat cameo i hope we do he has two cats named jackson and han solo yeah what a good um, what some names there good dude, names. han solo the cat and then they have a painting of han solo the cat as han solo in the bathroom holding the gun and stuff fucking leia oh my god yeah man i didn't see that yeah earlier. yeah it's a cat having sex with <laughs> leia princess leia it's a really weird painting, and it makes me not trust Kyle. Hey, well, you know, you learn a lot about your friends when you're in their home. Yeah, absolutely. There's a bunch of dead animals on the wall. I don't um, like that. Not stuffed or anything, just well, nailed to the wall. it'd be worse if they were alive. Yeah. That's they were bleeding every, all yeah. over the wall. <laughs> Normally, you get a taxidermist, but Kyle was like, yeah, just nail it to the wall, and uh, <laughs> we'll eat it later. I'm in a... Dude, the, the so the timeline of, of this... Oh, yeah, so we, funny. It's really funny. We... Uh, I, I said it last week, too. I've been getting... Um, I, this is an interesting time. Um, so we have banked a bunch of episodes, and this one, as it's coming out, is in uh, May, near the end of May, but we're recording it at the end of March, and we did it on purpose. Um, to We wanted to get a month of he- ahead for the sake of uh, Kyle, our producer, to, to give him breathing room and give ourselves breathing room. But then also, I, have, I move to new york in two days and as you're hearing it i have been in new york for two months yeah so but yeah just imagine that i'm moving to new york (laughs) i am very stressed out and uh that's fine i'm all right but um but that's like kind of where i'm at and uh my humor is definitely being informed by it it's a lot of nailing animals to the wall well that's what new york's (laughs) all about you know you want to get back in the new york groove totally i'm trying to be stressed hard edge you know, you need to get used to the stress. Yeah, you go jump start the stress before you get there. That's a good point. I've been I've been trying to wean myself into New York. Yeah, I've been um, drinking like fifteen cups of coffee a day, and I've been um, I've been uh, finding Italian people and yelling at them. <laughs> uh, because if you yell at them, they yell at you. You know, and yeah. then that's sort of getting me into the groove. Yeah, the and, other uh, day after we done we did a recording, I peed all over Dave. So yeah. I asked him to. So and I did that to, to help. Yeah, you want your friends to have your back, you yeah. know. And uh, yeah, I just feel like I'm gonna smell like shit, and everyone's gonna be yelling at me. <laughs> and uh, totally. And so uh, I've been sleeping on the train, you yeah. know. Um, the other day, a, a very stout Greek lady beat a rug uh, right <laughs> over your head on three floors of, over yeah. it, and it fell all over your head. And you mean, went, hey, it's really, <laughs> it's really helping me. Yeah, totally. Remember that? Yeah. Matt, you remember that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've been asking all the people around me to to um, lean out their window and pour out pots. <laughs> <laughs> remember when we robbed a bodega? Yeah, we, we robbed that bodega. Robbed that, bodega. <laughs> that bodega. That was good. Yeah, totally. And then we, uh, well, we didn't really rob it. We we asked to borrow something, but then we were like, if you if you could chase me down the street, <laughs> uh, waving your fist, that yeah. would, that would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember when Kyle hit you with a ladle 85 times? <laughs> People in New yeah. York get hit with ladles. I went to a costume store and I rented a, uh, a, a like an MTA cop uniform <laughs> and I gave it to a guy and I was like, I was like, uh, all right, I'm going to have trouble with this machine. And if you could like in a really loud, mean way, explain how to use it. <laughs> be great. If you could yell like how to operate things at me. Whoa. That was hey, there's Han Solo. Han Solo showed up. What's up, Han? Yeah, he heard us talking about New York. Totally. And he was like, I've been there. <laughs> they used to call me a pizza for? cat. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, so also in the timeline of what's it called, you're two months later, but um, 
the slap just happened for us. <laughs> Whoa, what a time. What Dude. a Wow, that's a blast from the past, huh? The slap. My generation's 9-11. Unbelievable. Yeah, dude. Yeah. First of all, it wasn't real. We yeah. We all know that. George W. Bush <laughs> created it. And uh, jet fuel can't melt Chris Rock's face. Everybody knows that. <laughs> dude. Okay, here's the thing. Real quick, I just want to say, uh. <laughs> Caleb and I have talked about it. We both think that there are all sorts of serious things that yes. have to do with Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. That moment contained every issue that there is. Totally. There are, there's just, it's so loaded and uh, the societally and, and what it means for aggression mm -hmm. and violence and saying mean things about people and, and diseases and jokes. And we feel all that and are not going to talk about it because that's not what you or we are fucking here for. I'm only going to talk. I wanted you to know that we think the serious stuff though. So you know that right. when we learned. make a lot of fun of it, because the other thing is that there are really funny things about it. Also, of course, here's my favorite thing. The most famous man slapped the other most famous man. <laughs> Two commodities right. in, in capitalism fought, right. Like it's so bank of America punched Coca-Cola. <laughs> I love it. It's so, right. and we're acting like one of them is weaker than the other, or one of them had feel like, and you know, I, I know there are people, but there are people that are just like, there are comedians that are acting by the way, like Chris rock, somebody tweeted. Who's a friend of, I forget which one, like, let's not forget the King slapped the court jester. And it's like, Chris rock is a movie star. Yeah. <laughs> It's a court jester. <laughs> yeah, like that's not even a real thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah. the king smacked a goblin. He was in New Jack City. He had all these movies he starred in. Yeah. He's like a really famous guy. He knows the pre all like a bunch of presidents. And I guess Will Smith is like at a higher level of level of celebrity than Chris Rock, but not really that much. Like no one doesn't <laughs> know who Chris Rock is. Chris Rock is more famous than like most kings in history <laughs> like most popes most popes yeah do you know the pope's name i don't no but i know I don't chris even rock's think name. they have real names don't they change their name to like uh, it's Archibald jimmy pope Benedict. jimmy <laughs> yeah pope jimmy last one was steve three popes ago was derek uh yeah steve was the nazi one derek was cool jimmy's cool too you know what there'll never be a pope zach no. You know? No, no, no. I don't care what anybody says. No Zach Pope. Pope Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dave the Pope. <laughs> or Caleb. It's always Benedict. Yeah, yeah there's never <laughs> going to be a, a John Paul. I want the Pope's name to be Jesus. We just Whoa. once. That'd be good. Yeah, wow, yeah. Wow, because there's nothing wrong with that. No. You know, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Or Mario would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Mario. Pope Mario. <laughs> Pope Mario. <laughs> <laughs> and we would just be like, come on, man, wear the thing. Wear oh, the suspenders. Man. We gotta dude. rename the Pope. You're damn right. We gotta How rename the Pope. Have we not thought of that? Yeah. Oh, Dave. don't forget. We did it. Done. Dave. Yeah. yeah. Pope Dave. Pope Dave. Who's the Dave? I'm the Dave. Yeah, I got a hat and a dumb car. And I and I'm God's friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> I wonder, like, with a straight, like, <laughs> I think it's because the Pope's never really speak in English much. Right. He's always like, how many hoopy? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that your impression of Italian? <laughs> how many hoopy? I mean, I guess he speaks Italian and Latin. <laughs> how many hoopy? He's always saying some thing. That's a lot of fun. How many hoopy? I don't feel comfortable with people gibberishizing. Um, a lot of languages, but like old white languages, we yeah. should do that more. Habity 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 babada. Yeah, I'm Mr. Italy boy. Welcome to welcome to Pizza Town. Everybody, get on your knees. It's God time. Blah 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 doo doo. I uh, <laughs> I mean, he's got a scepter. I mean, yeah, no, no, he's, he's a, going happy boopy. Yeah, he, he's a god <laughs> wizard. It's the stupidest thing to exist still. And, and I he think that's lives in a castle. <laughs> he lives in a castle painted by a, a famous, like the most famous yeah. artist of all time. It's crazy. It's and crazy. then it's he says stuff mm -hmm. that like a, a four year old says, like my castle is a city and a country. Right. Oh, totally. Okay. You just learned all the words at the same time. 
No, it's a castle, a city, or a country. No, it's all three. All Abity boopy. <laughs> And they got our own language in Castle City Country. <laughs> oh wow, that's great! <laughs> and uh, Catholicism is so old world that their political opinions are also things four year olds say. Crazy! Just literally the damn Pope wearing a fucking crown, holding a staff um, in a car covered in glass, goes on TV and is like, "Gay people are people," and we're like, "Yes." Yes. We know. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was talking to God earlier, and you know what he's told me? Man. People are people. All people oh. are people. Wow. Well, welcome, you fucking jerk off. <laughs> but that's what I mean. He has the hat, and he's going hobbity hoopy, and he's got a scepter, and he's got shoes that are crazy. Wait, which part's hobbity hoopy? So the the Latin? He says. Well, but he, <laughs> but he, all, he speaks in Italian most of the time, doesn't right. he? Right. So... But if he if he spoke English, I don't know if it would work as well because he would go, yeah, he'd be sitting, oh, I see. he'd be sitting on Rogan, going, yeah, I was talking to God about that, Joe, right? And then Joe would go, oh, it's interesting, oh, it's interesting. You're his <laughs> conduit on the earth. <laughs> interesting. Does he ever talk about me? And he's like, yeah. He said, stop apologizing. He's yeah. sad. God's not happy about cancel culture. He told, he texted me, <laughs> like the Pope literally goes, I was, he goes to the room where God's at, uh-huh. like, oh, he's up here, he's at the top, right? He's at the top. He doesn't like sure. It's where he talks to God. But uh, yeah, that makes sense when you got the hat and you're going. Yeah, you think, how, you think that yeah, in his bedroom there's a bush? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> One day it will be on fire. That's my impression of the Pope. He just sits there looking at this bush like, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny because that's one of the cool. I love. Uh, I love any Moses movie. Yeah. I love all those. The Ten Commandments, anything from back there, I love them. But uh, I do wish it was a tree, you know? Yeah. You want it to be a burning tree? God, tree, you know, Lord of the Rings, tree of life, Oh, tree. instead of a bush? A bush is kind it's of... It's funny. You know, but, you know, maybe that's part of the thing, but I always thought cinematically, yeah. man, I wish that was And a he tree. came to us as a burning tulip. Yeah. You know, like a tulip. Hmm. That seems Ooh. small. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to give me the 10 rules and you're a bush? Are you kidding? Why are you more powerful than that? Weren't you, why weren't you like an elephant or rhinoceros or like a storm? Yeah. I, I think that story is so funny, too. <laughs> Moses goes up the mountain. He's like, I'm going to go talk to God. They're like, sweet, sweet, sweet. And literally, he's on his way down. They already built a cow and they're worshiping it. It's so funny. Dude. Within, it's like 15 minutes. They're like, we got to. Ah. I, we need to worship something. It's, it's also so funny to me. Now, You're now worshiping that I'm a thinking cow? about it. Yeah. Everything about that is so funny because it's all arbitrary, right? Like, why is it a cow? Also, why is it a bush? I feel like if that happened now, it would be like, and God came to us as a Home Depot. <laughs> and, uh, and just <laughs> this Home Depot yeah. shows up atop a mountain and Moses is like, listen to what the door says. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, why is it a bush? God has given me plywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. And a lot of bolts. (laughs) Yeah. Don't cheat on your wife in aisle 13. And uh, don't. I like Home Depot. (laughs) I like Home Depot a lot, dude. Yeah. Seems like God would have big ceilings. Yeah, And you know what? Whenever you go to Home Depot, fun's around the corner. It really is. You know? It's a nice feeling. You're going to have fun while you're there, looking at all the opportunity. It's, yeah. a, it's a lot of possibilities in there. Yeah. yeah. Where do you like to eat after Home Depot? I feel like after Home Depot, I like to go to Taco Bell. I hunt. You- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> I buy enough wood to make a catapult. Okay. <laughs> and, and then I go kill a whole fucking family of deer with a fucking catapult, man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Man, isn't it funny that I, you know, there was a last battle that featured a catapult. Yeah. You know, they were right. in every battle and then it kind of started getting, <laughs> and I bet that country was so embarrassed they show up with their catapult. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> Everybody else has guns. They're like, oh, oh come shit. on. Yeah. Oh, like, like I got an iPhone 8. And I'm embarrassed of it. You sure. Know, the guy who's, <laughs> the guy who brought a catapult to a bomb fight. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just like, ah, oh, you guys ready to go? They got elephants. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like, yeah, 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 we're ready. Everybody go home. Everybody go home. 
hold on. And they just press one button. I would feel bad. Yeah, yeah. Everybody dies. Everybody's so guilty. All these dead elephants are laying around everywhere because they just like shot missiles at them. I feel like the timing is we're like, you know, it's not entirely accurate. Like where they're cat. When do you think the last catapult was? I don't know. Cause I feel like you don't even see civil war paintings with a catapult in it, you know? Well, because back then they had cannons. Yeah. The cannons. So cannons replaced the catapult. <laughs> yeah. I think cannons killed the catapult star. Oh man. Yeah. That's such a bummer. Totally, dude. Especially catapults are so much more fun. I like it when it has moving parts. Yeah. It's like a a Rube Goldberg gun. (laughs) It's just like, all right, (laughs) set the flaming ball of dirt here, and in seven minutes, it might hit somebody. (laughs) (laughs) They got to, like, cut the thing, and then it flies. Yeah. (laughs) They got to, like, roll it in. It's It's a lot of fun. So much work. Yeah, So much work. It's like, the thing you're shooting at has to be exactly... You know, it has to be yeah. exactly as far, you know. And you, you, there's an arc to it. And I guess right. there's an arc to cannons, too, but it's a little more direct. Yeah. And then you've got to cheer for it. Like, I, you, you can't do anything for, like, a long time after you use it. Totally. So you just got the guy who, like, you, then you release it and you just go, ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, our side. <laughs> yeah. You just got to. <laughs> totally. There's also, I, in movies, I love it, like Lord of the Rings and shit, where, like, a catapult ball is coming yeah yeah <laughs> the people underneath it are like they're like uh, yeah. they have to like guess which way to jump <laughs> what a horrible way to fight a war where you're just like doing geometry in your head like uh i would just be dead i, I would not make it through that <laughs> this is also making me think that like definitely you know it was more drastic than cannons versus catapults just imagine how it felt the first time so you like you're like in a it was probably in sometime in world war ii or maybe yeah. vietnam where everyone's shooting at each other and and someone's like oh what's that guy doing <laughs> and he has a missile launcher on his shoulder the first time someone shot a missile <laughs> off their shoulder right uh well it was not the best <laughs> soldier you know they were no, like no. hey i got an idea um, do you want to try this out? Has anyone <laughs> yeah. else tried it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone else has tried it. <laughs> yeah, right. You're not the first one to try this. <laughs> yeah. I'll put the missile on my sh- an inch from my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It won't go off till later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. And uh, yeah, it won't come out of the tube. Um, you got to point it. We'll put it behind <laughs> you. I also love that they like they started drafting people with a low center of gravity. Yeah, they were yeah. like, <laughs> they were like, we gotta, you know, we gotta test this out somehow. We got to make sure <laughs> these skinny guys aren't going to be able to do this. Man. Oh, missile launcher. Dude. So funny. What a funny weapon. I, I bet, uh, too, when guns came out, there was the first battle. Where they're like, oh, France has got guns. You know, and all these French soldiers, oh, oh, oh I can't wait. You know, they're, they're so excited. They all got stabbed to death. Yeah, they got stabbed. <laughs> they get there, get shot with an arrow. Well, what? Yeah. Well, the cool thing about a gun. They're loading their gun for five hours. Exactly. <sighs> they load the gun before they get to battle, and they shoot it. And then the first time that ever happened, they were like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it takes 30 minutes to load these. Yeah, the arrow guy's yeah. like, wing, wing, <laughs> wing, kill it, just boom, boom, boom. Totally. They're like, oh, yeah. maybe I shouldn't be wearing a three-piece suit. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I think we shouldn't be wearing primary colors in war. I think primary colors might be too bright. You know what I noticed is, is weighing me down during our charges <laughs> is the 35 pounds of buttons on my uniform. <laughs> I was wondering if we'd need less buttons. You know how each one of them is a pound and made of brass? <laughs> Sir, I, I wonder if maybe we should stop wearing gold hats. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the fact that there's metal on my head might be bad. <laughs> Yeah, our military budget <laughs> is $80 trillion. Yeah. A lot of it's the gold hats. <laughs> yeah. uh, we hadn't really thought about that. Oh, yeah. Also, just personally for me, could I have a sword instead of a tuba? <laughs> I feel like being the tuba guy is not good for me. <laughs> I feel like it really opens me up to a lot of vulnerability. <laughs> so as the tuba man, I would like to request a knife. <laughs> and look. The gun guy's got a knife at the end of their gun. Why don't I get a knife on my tuba at least? (laughs) 
we haven't invented some sort of knife tuba. First thing you did was put a knife on a gun, which I think is pretty funny. <laughs> the gun seems to trump knife. But if we're sure enough in the gunfight that people are going to get close enough to us that the gun gets a knife, I think the tuba <laughs> gets a knife or a gun. Can we put a gun on the tuba and then the gun gets a knife? Help me. I have a tuba. <laughs> I think about that all the time. Like, uh, <laughs> <Tuber. laughs> uh, <tuber. laughs> yeah. you give me a fucking tuber, I'll get a knife out of it. <laughs> if you've seen The Departed, it's a movie about uh, music. Yeah. It's this uh, music documentary starring Jack Nicholson and Matt Damon, <laughs> uh, where they talk about how good the Dropkick Murphys are. Um, dude, it's so like, uh, what do you do in the army? I play the drums. Oh, oh, that's cool. That's interesting. So you stay like in the back to motivate them. No, very front, very fun front. I go faster. What do you do? Hold the flag, hold the flag. I play the drums. I play the tuba. I play the flute. We're yeah. all underage. <laughs> you imagine we how much of an asshole you got to be to shoot the flute guy. The yeah. flute guy's always <laughs> totally. got a one bandage, a little blood leaking. <laughs> totally. He's playing the flute. <laughs> Totally. Oh, I bet that was his own. That was friendly fire. Half They're like, can dance? you stop with the flute? Yeah. Put the flute down. Can someone give him a gun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not in a good mood. Why are you playing a jolly song? <laughs> yeah. My best friend just got killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, why are you dancing? <laughs> why are you twiddling your feet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet his wife was never like, oh, yeah, you're gone all year at war and you're playing the flute. It can't help me with the kids. Got to go play the flute with your buddies. It does seem like something you lie to your wife yeah. about. No, they need a flute guy. Yeah. They, what? Yeah. Like, uh, no, 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 I, no. Yeah. Oh, how was the uh, work at the blacksmith shop? Oh, it was very good. We made a lot of metal weapons. <laughs> Using fire, and it's just his dream is to play the flute in the army. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> we're comedians, yeah. but we're you know ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I I have a very strong job that requires my <laughs> muscles to be big. <laughs> like one day I'm gonna be the best yeah. flute player in the <laughs> Union Army. <laughs> I imagine it's gonna be hard. My, when my my granddad was in the Korean War, and he was the he was a trumpet player. Mm -hmm. and I just imagine like at the the you know in the mess hall, that's got to be tough. Totally. Like, hey, I noticed um, you wake me up every morning, you know, yeah. with that song, and uh, I don't think you're we're gonna let you sit with us. Yeah. Because you're my least favorite part of each day. Yeah. You're sitting there playing that song right next to my ear. I'm in a war. To trumpet guys like man it's tough huh you know i gotta i gotta get my protein in at this mess hall it's hard to play that song it's hard to play i feel like the trumpet guy in that situation would be like kind of the class clown <laughs> he's just like the funny guy and like i hey, give him the bugle he's kind of funny <laughs> and they're like you wake us up every morning and it's like yeah but you get a trumpet how do i get up <laughs> yeah who wakes up the who trumpet wakes up guy? the trumpet guy the flute guy does oh yeah do, 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 do. tuba guy wakes him up and then the tube guy gets stabbed with a knife every morning at 4 a.m. <laughs> and I don't know who wakes up the knife guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who does wake up the knife guy? Yeah. Somebody's got to wake. Yeah, man. That. Why don't oh, they just get a fucking chicken? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, get a chicken. You well, know? then that gives away your position to the enemy. You know, if you're because your chicken's a crazy. Yeah. Koreans can't hear trumpets. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I mean, in the old days when every battalion, they, they had a fire at night and then they, the harmonica player doesn't play till the night. Yeah. You never see the harmonica guy playing till the fire is built. Right. Before that, it's the flute and the drums. <laughs> That's true. And then flute and drums are, are daytime instruments. Yeah. And then, yeah. they, you know, everybody sits around the fire and you get your coat, but you take your arms out of the sleeves. You just drape the coat. Yeah. You play, you play your harmonica and you drink coffee. Right. They drink a nice hot cup of joe. Uh, yeah, uh, the mournful and the and the the flute guy makes wet eggs. You you eat wet eggs made by children. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you drink coffee out of like a 
like a steel cup. <laughs> it's all yeah, it's always a blue steel cup that's been hooked onto your backpack. Yeah, yeah. You can't you don't put the cup in the bag cuz it's Should I ever weird. wash this? No, no, no. It's your coffee cup. Never wash it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man or, that's so funny to think the harmonica only comes out at night yeah and that's when they give the speeches and you can't yeah. make eye contact when you're giving a a monologue you gotta go ah my wife she was putting in a screen door when i left yeah and they're like can you look at me no that harmonica's got me looking at the moon mm, you know totally <laughs> Is he talking to us? <laughs> yeah. He's talking about his wife. And does he know at we're room. here? I don't know. Where does he think he is? I got a story after this. I guess. I... Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> he's just like, he's just like, oh. <laughs> if you asked me to list every time I was lonely, why it would take me years to write that list. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then five guys are sitting around him at the fire and they all open their mouths like, Yes, well, <laughs> the first time I was lonely, I... Oh, no, he's doing the whole list. <laughs> Shit. I was just born. <laughs> the doctor smacked my ass and then put me down, and there was no one there. <laughs> I was lonely, and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, those scenes where everyone sat around a fire to a harmonica, but it's going to be okay. <laughs> Men are always sad, but it's going to be okay. Oh, I know. All music for men is like, is like, uh, just like a tumbleweed playing a guitar. Yeah. And I feel bad those guys that don't really have a poignant where they're like, oh, shit, it's my turn. Yeah. I, uh, one of my, <laughs> my friends in uh, high school was, uh, we started hooking up. Uh, and it didn't really start serious. Uh, we kind of, you know, we love each other and all, but it's not really passionate. And uh, we're kind of like, Roommates more than anything, but, uh, you know, we get along. Uh, it'd kind of be weird to be with anybody else at this point, but, uh, you know, I I haven't really started to miss her yet, but I'm sure, you know, if the war goes another year, I'll probably get a pretty homesick. Okay, why but, uh, am I the flute guy? <laughs> <laughs> you hearing this? No, nah, you know, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, my wife is dead. <laughs> my wife is dead. I'm playing the flute. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My life is, like, pretty tough. I'm pretty tough, you know. I've had a lot of adversity. I can do a lot of push-ups. <laughs> you guys are do do doodling me. This guy gets a gun. I'm sorry. Nothing bad has ever happened to this guy. Well, why are you doing so many push-ups? Group in the, the suburbs of Atlanta. Group in the suburbs of Atlanta. Suburbs. What's he even doing here? You know? I don't know if Decatur is. I mean, it's it's a city. My father still hits me. Okay. <laughs> now we're not talking about dads. We're talking about our lassie back home. <laughs> I'm also thinking how funny it is to be like. I'm 45. My dad still hits me. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should hit him back. <laughs> well, then if you're 45, your dad's got to be at least 65. Yeah. You can't hit an old oh, man. That's true. You missed your opportunity. You know, can't do that. You got to start hitting your dad in your 20s and stop by the time you're 40. <laughs> Otherwise, you're being ridiculous. <laughs> yeah oh, it's just a midlife crisis if you start hitting your father in your 40s yeah yeah you yeah. shouldn't do that and you just feel like you missed out yeah not fair yeah totally damn welcome Re to what's it called hey, everybody <laughs> welcome to what's it called we're yeah. so happy that you're here i'm we dave ross you. yeah we hope you like our war <laughs> this is caleb simon <laughs> caleb simon get ready to lay down you're the potato we're boys. talking about war we're the fucking Potato Boys, you're a bunch of Richard Carnes. That's right. We love you so much. Yeah. This is our favorite fucking thing we do. Thank you for being here with us. Rate and review us on iTunes, yeah, Stitcher, and Spotify. Uh, Spotify ratings are going up. I yeah, noticed. rate that us helps. on that. Hell yeah. Rate us on uh, what? Pocket Cast. Hell yeah, you know? dude. Google Podcasts. Uh, where, wherever you want to. Himalaya. Yeah. All that shit. And shout out, a special shout out to our listeners in Germany. We've got a few. Yeah. Thanks so much Thanks for, for being listening. with us. Um, follow us at What's It Pod on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. Yeah. Follow us on Twitch. We stream on there sometimes. Twitch.tv slash What's It Called. Hell yeah. 
we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash what's it called, and we have a new patron this week. Oh, hell yeah, we do. Who, who's getting two shout-outs today because they're a $25 patron, <gasps> which is so much money. Oh, thanks. Thank you. And 20 of the $25 patrons are our producers. Shout-out to Dante Beckwith. What? That's right. What a name. Such a good name. Now, thanks that's so a Pope much. name. Hell yeah, dude. Dante Beckwith the 58th. Before we move on to our guest this week, I wanted to say one more thing about the war bullshit. Yeah, war. Which is good. War. I like What's it good for? Everything. Money. Yeah, money. Me feeling good. Movies later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's like one of the most ridiculous things that people say, and I guess it must be true, but the fact that it's true is really annoying to me. Is that like, at, uh, well, back then at night, the uh, troops from opposing armies would get right. drunk oh, together. Yeah. And that sounds like the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. Yeah. I feel I'm like there had to be some people like, I'm not going to go over there. They killed Brian. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm still a little upset about it. Yeah. I think they might poison my beer. I liked him. We got to get up early. I'm, I don't want to be hung over. So sun goes on down. On the day I die. We forget about, we forget about. Brian. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's really the same thing about Democrats and Republicans. Like, uh, at the end of the day, Democratic senators and Republican senators used to have a whiskey. And it's like, well, it sounds like those two people are full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like no one in that situation believes what they say yeah. <laughs> at all. I mean, it's also like, I feel like that might have even... Even if that was true, I feel like now they wouldn't do it just because they don't want Ted Cruz to find out. Where he's like, "Where's everybody going?" Oh, that's so fun. What are you guys doing? Uh, no, we hate it. I hate the Democrats so much. I can't ha have a whiskey with them. I'm gonna go home and go to bed. Yeah, you, everybody's <laughs> going home, and going to bed. Lindsey Graham, what are you doing? He's so like, funny. I'm going to bed too. I'm going to bed. I'm and they're like winking. <laughs> really? So Where's funny. uh? Your house is uh? Your house is that way. Lindsey Graham and Chuck Schumer are like, no, yeah, yeah, we're both going to bed. Good. We just like sitting on the steps and being mad at each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. going home. Yeah, Next I got to <laughs> call my wife from the, uh, me too, got to go yeah. to my office. Hello? That's not a phone. <laughs> That's a banana. <laughs> <laughs> it says that your Uber's dropping you off at Margaritaville. <laughs> are you going to the D.C. Margaritaville? That is, this is so funny, dude. It does seem like Ted Cruz says a lot of stuff like, Hey, you guys, you know what I like a lot? Are bars in Georgetown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, you know, I got my favorites. <laughs> What's your favorite bars in Georgetown, everybody? And we'll compare. You say yours first. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Hey, uh, um, I was thinking after <laughs> Senate stuff today that, uh, you know what I was thinking, Lindsay, is I could enjoy a nice American beer. <laughs> uh, something I like about the wheat sort of taste of it. I enjoy the bubbles. Uh, I like them cold. The colder, the better. So if you know of any uh, anyone who's going to a bar <laughs> or a restaurant where I could get a beer, um, and I, I'd be willing to pay up to $15 per <laughs> beer. Uh, what not a lot of people know about me, Raphael Edward Cruz, <laughs> is that when they're hanging out with me, I tend to pay for everything, <laughs> for everybody. And, and you know, I don't talk much, really. I'll listen to anything anyone says. And... Um, <laughs> You know, and I'll believe it too, you know, and I'll just say that that's a good thing they thought um, just because I like people and I respect what they think that much. And, uh, you know, another thing about me, I I've been thinking about this a lot lately, the Republican Party, you know, we've been so divided, um, you know, some people supporting Trump, some not. My thought about how to remedy that has been that perhaps we should increase the amount of camaraderie amongst Republican senators. For example, <laughs> yourself and myself. And um, this could be done in a litany of ways. Uh, <laughs> number one, uh, perhaps uh, some sort of gathering in my yard. Uh <laughs> which could be done at any time of any day 
that anyone else is available at all. Um, now, I tend to be pretty free as I am never, ever invited to any events. Uh, <laughs> I cannot remember the last time I was asked to be at something that other people were at. <laughs> Heidi and I invested in some uh, <laughs> candles that keep bugs away. If you're in my yard having a, a cold American beer, you, we have tiki torches that are not for what you think. At all. They are for bugs. <laughs> so that you can have a good time in my yard. We have never lit them. Now, also, I do realize that I'm talking to a couple senators right now. And it's possible that your main thing is going to be wanting to um, get your penis sucked on. <laughs> and that is another thing that I'm willing to provide at a gathering at my home. Now, obviously, this would not be a public event. <laughs> and I, um, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to say anything to other people about this happening there. I'm just saying that. Look, what I'm saying is, whatever you need to want to hang out with me, I'll do. <laughs> he gets over it. <laughs> He's like, did you make any friends with the other senators today? <laughs> yeah. He's hanging his jacket You know, I up. tried, and no matter, no matter how hard I try, I just... You know, honey, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't um, know. They keep asking who else is going to be there. <laughs> and I, I can't make... I don't, there, no one else has agreed to. So, so I, I, I don't have an I answer. I don't know which names to say. If I could just get one of them to agree to come, I feel like the others would right, want I could to. Just have one. I asked Joe Manchin. He he said no. He said no. Cory Booker. I don't think he knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I've been asking old former senators, <laughs> and um, and uh, I asked Strom Thurmond to come over, and he just told me to fuck myself. <laughs> he told me to fuck myself, and then he said a bunch of other things. Um, just about other people that was it was some of the most horrible words in a row <laughs> I've ever heard. And I suppose that's unrelated, but I think that man might actually be the devil. <laughs> the things he thinks are appalling. And I think similar things. <laughs> I think similar things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ted Cruz. <laughs> I'm Ted Cruz. <laughs> be my friend. <laughs> um we have uh, a guest this week who is one of our favorite comedians. Yeah, one of my absolute favorites, and uh, uh, I'm very excited about he it. He has a new special out. And let me tell you, it's one of the best. Yeah. It's one of the best. It's so inventive, so original. I don't even want to give it away, but there's stuff in the special you will never see in any other special. It's so creative. Also, our podcast, obviously, like we love doing it just us, and... Um, we got buddies we want to bring on, but we're like, you know, not in a rush to I guess what I'm saying is like, we like it, uh, but it doesn't really matter to us because we have so much fun doing it. Mm -hmm. And also it's like pretty specific. Like there's a certain type of comedian that, uh, that fits what we do well. And, uh, but that's not necessarily everybody. And this guy's perfect. Yeah. He's just, we like made a list of people that we think would like really be great for it and he's one of them we're really fucking excited yeah uh, and he's just the best so funny so dude. original so silly but smart i mean just great he has a headshot that he used for a really long time and this is like kind of like a perfect description of him that is it's just a hint a photo of him singing into a microphone <laughs> but the microphone cord goes straight to headphones yeah. he's wearing <laughs> yeah. it's he's just so he's so, funny. so perfectly silly um, his name's Nick Vaderot. Let's get him in here. Hell yeah. Nick, dude. Thanks for joining us, Hell man. Yeah. Thanks for letting me crash here. <laughs> 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 By the way, I didn't tell you that part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. This is our producer's house. <laughs> as long as I got a place to stay, it's all that matters. I don't care. Who pays the bills? This is funny, too, because uh, because we you know we have an office we normally record in, but it's very small. We can't afford anything at all. Mm -hmm. um, and so Kyle has kindly invited us into our home. But also now for the first time, Caleb and I are sitting right next to each other, just staring <laughs> yeah. at you. Yeah. It's a weird it's kind of a weird feeling setup. Like 
So tell the two of us something. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it is a bit reverse, like late night show. Yeah, this yeah. is, this is what they do. Yeah. People do to their daughter's boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> they wait for her to leave the room. Yeah, yeah. They would sit over here. Hey, so uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your intentions. Yeah. Well, what are your intentions on the? I'm podcast? just seeing how it goes. <laughs> you know, you gotta. I gotta. You gotta keep your options open so, for the rest of think? your life. So what my daughter they? tells me you don't want to have your dick cut off. <laughs> Which I think is interesting. Well, I mean, I just, I've done it and I don't like it. So, <laughs> one and done for me. You know? well, do parents really think the guy's gonna go, they're gonna go, what are your intentions? And the guy's gonna go, just to fuck. I mean, uh, 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 fuck. Like, what are fuck, they? Uh, finger. I mean, uh, b- b- bang in the butt. Marriage. Yeah, yeah. Worse, worse, Marriage. worse, worse. Fatherhood. <laughs> Fatherhood. I wanna fuck your daughter. <laughs> yeah, it's always gonna, you're not gonna catch him. I just want, I want children and I, I don't. <laughs> She doesn't need to stay in the picture. I just want <laughs> children from her. And wow. She, yeah, to That's raise That's so them. funny. What are, you, what are you in this for? I'm just trying to date your daughter long enough to get her pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, look, I'll stick around, but if she wants to go, that's fine. I just yeah. want the kids. I want the kids. You know, I want a tiny little friend. <laughs> yeah. I'm lonely, and I don't like women. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> I, <laughs> I only like hanging out with kids. Not in a weird way. I just like their. I just like what they think about, you know? I, I Here's the thing I've been obsessed with recently is that, because uh, that's a very psychopath. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, and I think uh, <laughs> I was thinking about, like, you know, psychopaths. And, like, whenever you hear somebody, like, on a conversation, conversation on a phone or something they're always talking about a breakup the, they're always like the other person's like oh totally bipolar totally a psychopath <laughs> they're, it's always the other person yeah. never everyone's like why did it work well, oh i'm a, i'm i'm a i'm bipolar <laughs> yeah. oh I'm a, I'm, I'm a total psychopath that's why it didn't work out again and then also like shouldn't psychopaths deserve love why, why how come they don't 100 percent, right you know what i think about a lot too like a exact same note but just in a different way on twitter at a certain like when uh, like uh, uh, like mental health discussions started happening on Twitter, I fought and Instagram. I started following those accounts that are just like be kind to your brain. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's uh-huh. just called like uh, the hug from the internet is the name of the account, and it just like tells you things about your psyche and shit. And you're like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm a person with a brain. But then over time, I realized like it's all perspective based, so they're all just like. They're all just like that person who won't listen to your boundaries when you put them out. That person doesn't care about you and they are a sociopath trying to take your oh, precious boy. time. And it's like, yeah, but you're assuming that the person who's reading this tweet isn't a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's something yeah. I can't get over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it's, it's not just whoever happens to be upset right now is the one that's good. Right, and then they go, "Ooh, forty-five things in a relationship that you deserve." Yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. maybe not. Yeah, maybe <laughs> you don't yeah, deserve yeah, yeah. that because you're a piece of shit. Yeah, there, is there a dating site that just gets pieces of shit and put them together? Because I mean, the pieces of shit should be dating each other. <laughs> right, get right. them out of the pool of everybody and get the yeah. psychopaths to date each other. And then pieces right. of shit only dot com. <laughs> yeah. Pieces, plenty of shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of shit in the sea. <laughs> well, they'd probably start, the murder rate would just skyrocket. Oh my God. Because the psychos would be like, they'd they'd just paranoid up. against each other, like poisoning. It'd be a lot of that shit. <laughs> that's so, exciting. damn, that's so funny. And it funny. would probably make the world a better place. I think so. Man, so, if yeah. all the murderers start dating, <laughs> murderers meet. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, we call it unhinged. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and so your profile is like a picture of you, and then it's like, who'd you kill first? And it's like my dad. <laughs> yeah. Would you kill That's Jim the or small dog? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Me too. I would kill your dad too. Oh, that my is so God. funny. Oh, that is so funny. If we you are, are murderer, connected, then if you murder and your partner doesn't, mm-hmm. does that make you respect them a little less? So the, the, these like unequal marriages where it's a murderer and a non-murderer. It's one of those mm-hmm. things where like when you're a comic, should you date a comic or should you date a non-comic? It's right. like a, the discussion that will never be. Well, you're going to start solved. competing. Right? Yeah, right. two murderers. No, you never can't works. date a murderer. Cannot date another murderer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, all then all you ever talk totally. is about is murder. I've been you, saying you this break from it, ever know? since I was a kid. Gen- Genghis Khan could not have married Paul Manafort. You know? <laughs> 
<laughs> that marriage would never have would worked out. Work. No. Though, God, that's fun to think about. If, <laughs> if, <laughs> if, <laughs> if Kim Jong Un were dating Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> <laughs> The, yeah, oh, you need. Boy. Yeah, you need to open. So you want like who right. would be a good uh, who would, if you had to set Kim Jong Un up? Who would you set him up with? Uh, Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I want to talk about. Today, right? <laughs> By the way, we're recording this episode. We banked a bunch because we're going to be traveling a lot. So it's funny. This episode uh, comes out at the end of May. Okay. And uh, so. and so the people listening have had two months to just be really annoyed with everyone's Will Smith jokes. Right. So we can't even. <laughs> I mean, we went hard in the first half. We can if you want, because we already did. So fuck it. Yeah. It's not my brain. Right. Yeah. Here's what I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Are we really going to live in a society <laughs> where, <laughs> where violence, <laughs> violence on television? <laughs> Oh, okay, boy. here's what I love. I love mm -hmm. uh, when you make fun because this is uh, it's this is a, part of the conversations are forever conversations. Yeah, and that mm -hmm. is the heckler, the antagonistic comedian conversation. Right, right. And I love the idea. That the, and, I, and by the way, I, I whenever I'm, you know, I'm trying to be a professional comedian. You know, <laughs> trying to be a professional person on stage. Uh -huh. And so, a little advice to anybody, Chris Rock, if you're listening. Always, <laughs> always, when you go when you go at an audience member, make sure first, first make sure if they have anyone who loves them. <laughs> okay, yeah. If they do, step back. Uh -huh. Okay, you're only supposed to make fun of people who have no body. Yeah. All right. That's that's your incels target. only. <laughs> that's only it. attack incels. That's it. They deserve it. And they kind of and they kind of do. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, if you want to talk about a track record of incels, I mean, because then instead of smacked, you're going to get a uh, shot in right. a large group. You, you make so fun funny. of incels long enough, that's going to be bad. Isn't yeah. it so funny too? The first example, like obviously, there's been so many cases of hecklers freaking out, screaming. And I'm sure that there have been violent outbursts a bunch of times in the past that I just don't know about. But the most public known one, like we just lived a life in a world where stand-up comedy happens and people are aware of it. And then the first public time it happened, it was Will fucking Smith. <laughs> right. The guy from Men in Black bitch slaps a comedian. And the whole world is like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, it was a real wake up. Uh, yeah. One of my favorite ones I had, I remember one time in Atlanta, I was doing a show and this lady was heckling, heckling. heckling. It was horrible. And then I was, I was like, you know, clapping back and it was going great. Uh, and then I was like, I know jokes are not going to be able to follow this. Like, mm -hmm. this is the best part of the set. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I was like, all right, that's enough. And then she walks to the stage with a $20 bill. And she's like, okay, I'm sorry. And oh, what? And uh, so I grab it. And then I threw, threw it back. And I was like, I don't want your heckler money. And that got a yeah. big laugh. <laughs> and then I just sat there for a minute. And I was like, you don't know how bad I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> that was not worth that laugh. Truly. I needed it so bad. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. 20 bucks down the drain. Oh, I know. And I still could use it, but well, boy, that then I really... I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mad hearing this. So, Nick, well, we don't have a lot of guests on the show. Yeah, yeah you're our second I, I guest. thank you uh, very, very much for letting me sort of crack the seal here. Dude, we thought you were perfect. And it's like the kind of thing where like uh, we want to have guests, but also it's uh, not a priority because it's just like a silly, fun thing. Yeah. And... Uh, and it's like tough to know who fits right into that pocket, but we sort of knew you would. And then I like pitched to you, what do you do? Is there anything you want to rename? And uh, and it was immediate. You were like Coachella, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> he gets it. That's like the dumbest thing on earth. It's so dumb. What made you think Coachella? Was there anything specific? I was just I was thinking of something with a dumb name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and, I, and that came in my mind, and I was like, you know, because I mean, I, I lived in like uh, New York for a long time, and there was always like that time of year, you, like one of the things that you could. Uh, tell what time of year it was by when the LA comics would start doing the Coachella jokes. Oh, sure. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, summer's uh, almost here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta make Easter plans because the Coachella <laughs> Coachella jokes are in the air. And, and, and it was foreign to me and I think a lot of us out there because we didn't know 
you know, we didn't what know what it, it was. Is. Or, right. You know, we only knew what it was based on the jokes, you know. Wow. And then you see the photos of it and you're like, so is this the worst thing? Yeah. <laughs> I think this might yeah. be the worst, the worst. thing. I've the never worst. been. Yeah. I've never been. I don't I've really never know been either. It uh, and it's because it costs four million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. To go. Yeah. yeah. Uh you know what's interesting about the name too is that it is a stupid, it is the stupidest sounding name. Particularly because of what you, you know, it's like all these great bands. And hypothetically, I like the desert. I like all the elements of it. Mm -hmm. But then everybody's, uh, everything, everyone's an idiot uh, somehow. (laughs) I don't know. And so it makes the name like particular. It just somehow matches the vibe as a dumb name. (laughs) And what's even weirder is it's just the name of the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. That's strange. It's very strange. I was a little disappointed when I found that out. Yes. Because I was like, well, the, the this town doesn't deserve this right. stank on it. Right, no. right. Totally. Yeah, right. Does it, everyone there work it at the thing? Like, that's what it is? I think it's, no, it's like another, like, less traveled part of, like, the California desert. I mean, Indio is yeah. the town, but the Coachella Valley is the larger area. And so it's wow. like Palm Springs or 29 Palms or Joshua Tree. It's just one of those... And they were like, yeah, it's a big open space. People will go to the desert. It's so funny to think that that now just that town is forever tainted. Like, what if we did that to yeah. Minneapolis? Yeah. <laughs> like the whole <laughs> the world was like oh, a bunch of douchebags and mini and Maria Bamford's like, ah, I, I, <laughs> I'm from Minneapolis. It's also Why do they need yeah, the, the headliners I was looking at. What are they this year? Man, well, I didn't, I didn't see this year, but I just looking at the ones in the past where you're like, man, who, why? The, the vibe was some years is insane where it's like Kid Rock and Ludacris. Yeah. And, you know, I, the, what, like it, it's a bizarre, like now it seems to be more like the Harry Styles is doing it or something. Mm. It's like, yeah, it's like pop everything yeah. and indie everything all at once. Yeah, it's I a think lot. the thing that's really weird about it, right, is that it is like a music festival technically, and it's like camping in the desert technically. But then when you read about it and you hear people talk about it, they all just go and it has nothing to do with the bands. That's what's strange to me. Huh. I'm just like, yeah, I put glitter on, I take a bunch of drugs, yeah. and I stand in the desert with my friends. It cost me $4,000. <laughs> 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 It feels like thousands of people not paying attention to the show. Yeah, totally. Yeah, That's yeah and glitter. Like. I, I mean, mm-hmm. I think there's probably there's probably a point where everybody is just taking a picture of themselves. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, so like one time I was on the subway and these uh, these three ladies were all talking and I was I was like super high mm-hmm. and I was just kind of like like watching them and I was like <laughs> at one point. All three of them were talking at the same time. Mm. <laughs> that made me laugh. So I was like, none of them are listening to each other. <laughs> They're all talking. They're all, yeah. And it went on for like 30 seconds. It was like, all of them are talking. How is that possible? That's what was crazy to me. And, wow. uh, and I think Coachella is that. Yes. I think Coachella is like everybody talking at the same time. Bands Nobody, playing. Bands playing. Every, <laughs> no there's a listening. DJ tent. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's try it. Let's all three try to talk at the same time. See how long we can do it. Okay. So, so I was the first thing, thing I thought, I didn't see the Oscars, but I, I did see I went a clip. to the Wikipedia page. Uh, obviously, I saw the, <laughs> uh, the clip that like you, that kind of everyone really saw. Uh, <laughs> and then later I saw, <laughs> what a nightmare. I couldn't tell what you guys were saying at all. <laughs> it's hard. Um, at all. It was hard to even do. Yeah. I, I, yes, I don't think, know how they do it. Uh, I was just saying my mother's maiden name over and over again. I don't know why. What were you? <laughs> That's where you went. <laughs> yeah, that'd be yeah. like a good Rorschach test of like what your brain goes to if you have oddly, to. Like, oddly, 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 oddly. Her, it is oddly, 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 oddly. oddly. oddly? oddly? Wow. I think Dave oddly? broke. Yeah. O t t i l i e. It's Norwegian motherfucker. Wow. Yeah. Went from that to Ross. Ross. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally. Went from this. Beautiful or Norwegian name to like a shitty story. Ross. Ross. What were you talking about? I was just saying what I had just said. I was just saying it again. I also wasn't saying that. I was saying some shit about Will Smith. There you go. Yeah, what about you? Me? I don't even. Oh, I was talking about Elvis. (laughs) (laughs) Is that true? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What were you saying about Elvis? Oh, that he was a lot uh, like, he was a Well, that's been what's it called, everybody. (laughs) There's no way I'm putting up with this bullshit. <laughs> you know, Elvis was like, uh, you know, I'm older than Elvis when he died now. And that's oh, wow. like, like, you know, like, huh. I, am I allowed to say fat Elvis? Yeah. Are you allowed to say fat Elvis anymore? 
<laughs> he gained weight. <laughs> but when you say fat Elvis, you know what I'm talking about. Right, if I'm right. like late stage Elvis, you're like, what is that? Late stage. Mean? It's not a disease. Late stage, I got I got yeah. late stage Elvis. <laughs> fat Elvis, you're talking about Danny DeVito. It's <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh... <laughs> um, gotta, yeah, I mean, Elvis, because like when I was a kid, I thought like Fat Elvis, I thought was like seventy years old, and he was like thirty nine, maybe. Um, oh, really? He was a lot, maybe forty, forty one. I think he, he was didn't a live lot that long. Younger, yeah. yeah, he was a lot younger when he looked older. I mean, yeah. he went like, I it his his thir- he had a bad thirties. I feel like his thirties. Wow. Yeah, I feel like most of my friends thirty to forty. You know, when people post those Instagram pictures, like ten years, <laughs> face is a little different. I mean. Elvis was like a different it is interesting. Man. Yeah, it's really weird. His, his life was he was a sex symbol in his 20s. Mm-hmm. And in his 30s, he joined the army and cuddled with his mom. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he drank a lot of alcohol. Yeah. yeah, I never cuddled with my mom as an adult. No. I wonder. Maybe it's nice. Yeah. Maybe. Well, yeah, maybe. You know. I don't think it's as nice as what else will happen. You know what I mean? Sure. Because now you're a, now your brain is. I that do enjoy brain. not cuddling with my mom. Boy, I can't even tell you. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Uh, you know what's funny too about Coachella is like we so on the show we try to like we try to rename shit uh, that is easy to make fun of, but um, but also it's like fun. Like Joe Biden's the best example. Like, yeah, not really happy with him as a president, but he's like a goofy dumbass somehow. Also, who's right. just like uh, like wants to play catch. <laughs> Or whatever, he, <laughs> and but Coachella, it's weird. Like in, I, 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 I love the idea of all the bands, and I like the desert, but I just have a really cynical view of, you know what I mean? Like yeah. when I look at it, I'm like, ah, it's hard for me to, you know, it's hard for me to be like, it's good. <laughs> yeah, and I also like, I think when we get older too, mm-hmm. it's harder to, it's more and more things we hate. Yes, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I mean because like I remember like going to like. <laughs> You know, because I, I was trying to think of it, you know, like, you know, Coachella's named after Coachella. Woodstock, named after Woodstock. Yeah. Lollapalooza. Named after that city in Indiana. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally. Uh, remember uh, Warp Tour, Missouri? That was a uh, very popular town. <laughs> yeah, <Or>. totally. <laughs> <laughs> the X Games, yeah, the X yeah. Games in Georgia, Alabama, which is, of course, that was a fun town. Ozfest is a city in Guam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, do you remember like going to your first like one of those festivals? It was amazing. Yeah, it was yeah, so much fun. It totally. was so much, so much stuff that I hate now. I yeah. think you just have to do that. You have to like right. love a something. I don't know if there's anything. Sure. That, is there anything that people like love forever? The one thing I will say about Will Smith is like, man, I I wish I loved anything half as much as is as, as he loves oh, that yeah. wife. To, I would never slap anybody over anything. No, yeah. I, I can't think of one thing you could insult that I care that much about. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, I might slap you if you take away my pistachio ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new sponsor. Uh, we have a new sponsor. <laughs> Which brings us to- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no I, was... i'll tell you this though i never liked loud music ever like never i would did. when i was 18 yeah uh i would be like can we go somewhere Let's, like kind of sit and have a beer uh, yeah and if there's nowhere to sit i like a big table and mm-hmm. like just i, I want to talk i'm not gonna get laid and when it's loud <laughs> You guys want to go to you guys going to Table Fest, right? That's right. where I want to go. Table there's, Fest. There's yeah. all kinds of sizes of tables. We I can like sit to go at. to a nice quiet bar. I now I'm like, let's go drink at a restaurant. I don't even want it to be like I want it to be wrong for the music to be loud. You know? Yeah, oh, yeah. Have you ever been to a silent rave? Do you, are you aware? Oh, of this? I've heard about this. Oh wow! This. Yeah. I went to one once. There wow. was it was like uh it was like an electronic music hippie festival in Northern California mm-hmm. that had comedy for some reason (laughs) and you'll never believe me but it was the comedy show was great and i think it's because they put it right at 6 p.m when everyone Mm. just took their molly yeah Um. yeah but then at night they had a silent rave because there were like i guess homes around there and the way it worked was they you have when you walk into the area with them performing you they give you headphones and the headphones have two different channels and there are two djs on stage that are djing at the same beat but it's different music you, Same beat. That's yeah. cool. And what I really loved about it was that I could change the volume on my headphones. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. great. And I could have a little bit of a like a moderately volume dance party. That sounds like heaven. <laughs> That's all I want. Yeah. 
I want a moderately vol. I mean, that's <laughs> I've wanted that even when I was that eight. I just that's never changed for me. But uh, huh. yeah, I don't like loud. There's no need need for this to be loud. Yeah, we need to be able to talk. I want to talk. It is the point of hanging out with other people is to be able to talk to them. Yeah, I hate yeah. it. I hate loud music. Man, there are bars in Echo Park that I technically love. I know the people that own them. That it it the volume. You guys know what bars I'm talking about. The the volume of the music is like. What are you trying to hurt me? Right. Mm -hmm. It's every bar. And I just like we do a comedy show. I just want to go get drunk with people. and I can't. I'm like screaming. I lose my voice just trying yeah. to get a beer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a couple uh, uh places where there'll be like a comedy show and everyone's hanging out in the room after the comedy show. And then they'll be like, uh, we're going <laughs> to yeah. do music now. <laughs> oh, God. And then they play the music. We're all like talking, having fun. <laughs> and then they play the blaring music and everybody leaves and goes into the other room. Yes. And now it's just an empty room with one guy on a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. And it's just like, what do you, you just, who's it for? <laughs> yeah. You, you, for nobody. They'll come. Yeah. They'll when come. they're drink, then they go in yeah. and dance. But you know, I'm with you as far as like, you know, like, especially like, I might mean, feel like in college when I was, a little more out in the prowl, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, oh. in, in you know, you go up and you talk to a girl, and if you if you can't have a conversation, then your only move is to like wiggle, <laughs> and wiggle. you have to wiggle in a you have to dance and wiggle in a way that it's like yeah okay you know if we can talk I can like try to be charming and funny and say interesting right. things, but if you disarm me and I only have the wiggling, like that's not gonna. <laughs> How do you do what that? What a weird way to, to select a mate. Yeah. Like a, yeah, it's like a bird of paradise. <laughs> yeah, totally. It is. <laughs> You're bobbing your head. Uh, oh, you yeah. like this? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do this little thing. And then you just sort of like the only thing I, how many times in my life have I been feeling awkward, thinking my dancing sucked? And uh, I just lean forward and I'm like, have you heard this song before? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. And they're like, what? <laughs> I, can't, yeah. I can't not slip into conversation. I know. Even if I get, if I get good stuff that they aren't turned off by my hips. Uh, that, hips. Uh, I, I, then I'll start, yeah, doing the... I love the idea of presenting like... <laughs> Do you, oh, do you like my neck? Right. Yeah. And Birds of Paradise is such a good... Uh, I wish I had those moves of those birds. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I can't not I you know when I don't like the strip clubs and all that kind of stuff you mm -hmm. know and when I've had like like dances or whatever I can't yes I can't not have a conversation I I just went up talking because I can't just sit there and be yeah. like this this is a fine situation <laughs> yeah we yeah. had parties in college and it would be like we only played old songs that we knew all the words to all the guys in our house so we'd okay. have the party and we'd be like no no turn it down I want people to be able to hear that I know all the words <laughs> we don't want it too loud <laughs> I know all the words we thought the girls would Why love did that I memorize all the words he <laughs> knows every word I forgot about Dre wow what I a should, hot guy he should, we should date <laughs> dude I did the same thing that's so funny I never yeah. thought of that like that's why we're friends mouthing my like Oh, they're going to notice me mouthing the, yeah. the words to <laughs> Little Red Corvette. I know all the words, baby. I you know, all that's yeah, no, turn down the Star Spangled Banner. I know all the words. <laughs> <laughs> I I uh I started I I Forgot about the Grateful Dead and remembered them the other day. Mm -hmm. I was driving, yeah. you know, because I got this Apple Music and I can listen to any song in the world yeah. outside of the 12 albums that have been on my <laughs> phone for 10 years. And so I was like, I can listen, I can just name a song and I couldn't think of anything. I, like, <laughs> I don't know. And then I was like, oh yeah, Grateful Dead. And then I put, I go, play Grateful Dead. And this like song came on and I was like, ah, I love this song. And I, and I tried to sing along with it. And uh, I I realized I didn't know any of the words, and I was like, "Oh, this is what babies do. This is like when babies think they're talking. Like that's me when I'm singing, you know, like I'm on ten. You know, it's like you think you're doing it. Yeah, it sounds like you get a running start, and you're looking around. Yeah, like, it, yeah? Uh, it feels right. like it. It's start. so embarrassing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what song it was? Because I want to see. It this. was. I think it was "Fade Away." Do you uh, know? I was like, ah, <laughs> and I kind of know the. I kind of know the refrain. That's. Mm -hmm. It's like, ah, oh. but but then it goes into like the verses, and I don't know the verses at all. You know. 
I this is so funny. I feel like I'm the same way with the Grateful Dead. Like one of their biggest songs is Casey Jones, and I know mm. trouble ahead. Yeah, trouble behind. Yeah. Casey Jones, you man, and it watch your speed. Yeah. <laughs> right. Which <laughs> Totally. And alone yeah. in your car, you're like, I do know it. I but do you add one it. person to that equation and you are the biggest loser of all time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because if you got no one around, there's yeah. no one. Why not right. try it? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what's fun? Uh, funny. I, I kept doing it because I wanted to sing along. Because yeah. there's, a, there's mm-hmm. something yeah. that feels good about yeah. singing along with a oh, song. Oh, it's one of the best feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even if you don't know the words, it's still fun <laughs> to be like, I'm a dad about in the wind. <laughs> you want to stand alone? <laughs> you will <laughs> the wind. And it's like fun. But I didn't want to let that stop me. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think the worst is if it's one of those songs that's more like a talk verse. Like, who, who's that guy who sings like, I went to the bar. And oh, I'm yeah. George the Thurgood. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, I walked yeah, up yeah. there to that lady and I told her, I said, like, can anyone sing along with that on <laughs> earth? That guy, is I'm that all, possible? That guy seems like a joke. He's always seemed like a joke to me. <laughs> and I basically like the music, but his big songs are, the biggest one is Bad to the bone. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, b- 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 bad. Like it's a real song. Why did? You, why <laughs> does he do the stutter? But That's not cool. That's never been cool. His other big hit is even better. It's like it's like he wanted bad to the bone get, to get big to create context for the joke of the second song because it's called I drink alone. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Like, that's a sign. Oh, man. I am alone all of the time. Nobody hangs out with me. I'm alone. I don't really like standing at the bar holding my money out. (laughs) Got to wait and see if they see me, and then I try to tip. Ah. He does have that that great line where he's like, because you know what? I drink alone. I prefer to be by myself. (laughs) Totally. All you do is... (laughs) Oh man! I was like, country music is like one. All you need is like one pithy line, one yeah. like clever, witty line, and you can just have a whole career off. Oh, right? absolutely! Yeah. That's all you need. I like a hat that's covered in dust. <laughs> <laughs> man, you guys know hat covered in dust. <laughs> <laughs> and you could also write, like, I wonder if the pie chart of country songs, uh, like, you know, half of them are about beer and a truck, and then like a fourth to a third are about another country song. Right. <laughs> really? Totally. Where it's just like swallowing itself. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah I yeah. love Hank Williams Jr. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> right. Don't sing about the hell. I, it's really weird. Yeah, I like like Kid Kid Rock sang about Sweet Home Alabama. Right. What are we just, doing? I just want to hear. We'll just play Sweet Home Alabama. Then. <laughs> yeah. What are we what are doing? doing? We don't need your like... weird like goblin rapping. <laughs> we should rename Coachella. By the way. Oh yeah, we should. Yeah, I got yeah. some names, baby. Oh, man. Let's um, rename Coachella. We'll switch off. But oh, Nick, gosh. I think you should kick us off here. Oh, oh yeah. boy. You're the guest. I mean, there's so many to do here. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna start out. Burning crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, Caleb. <laughs> Nine Inch Rails. Ah. Okay. The annual dance of the jerk offs. <laughs> um, here we go. Uh, chlamydia for dummies. <laughs> oh, man. I, I have one that basically combines your two. Funny. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, here's one. Hey, you know, Gorillas is a virtual band. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yes, yes. I know exactly what this reference is. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. They're uh, cartoons, <laughs> but they're real. All right, this is what I would call Coachella. Butthole licking dumbasses in the dirt. <laughs> that looked good on a poster. <laughs> yeah, I'd totally. That, I'd buy that shirt. <laughs> Who do you want to headline this year's Butthole licking dumbasses in the dirt? Presented by Golden Voice. <laughs> uh, songs in the key of yuck. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Rage right next to the machine. <laughs> ah! Oh, shit. That's so clever. Uh, Burning Man for Dummies. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. Um, tiny Dog Lost and Found. 
<laughs> wow. I just uh, picture a tent yeah. where they eat <laughs> tiny like, dog and there's there. just all these piles of tiny dogs that all the Beverly Hills girls. They're in a love. pile. Yeah, they're, they're not. in a pile. I had one, he was like, uh, can you can you do you have a name on it? Can you explain? Can you describe what it looked like? I don't know. And there's just a sea of 24-year-old women. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Just Michael. <laughs> don't name your dog Michael. <laughs> <laughs> don't name, yeah, probably don't name your dog Michael. Uh, just, just give me anyone. It doesn't I'll matter. I'll take one. It doesn't yeah, yeah. Really matter. Totally. All right, I got a uh, COVID-19 is not allowed to appear at another North American festival six months uh, before or after <laughs> the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This year's super spreader event is going to be... <laughs> Um, oh, actually, this will have, when this episode comes out, Coachella will have happened. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let us huh. know how it was. All right. America's got no talent. <laughs> <laughs> um, puddle con. <laughs> oh, oh, God. That's so funny. All right. The White Keys. <laughs> <laughs> Gay stagecoach. <laughs> <laughs> a night of zero laughs. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Guns and roses and chlamydia. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, haircuts in the sand. <laughs> haircuts in the sand. <laughs> that is what we are. Where did my friend go? He is in the can. That's my that's my name. Where'd my friend go? <laughs> Where'd my friend go? <laughs> <sighs> was that yours yeah oh okay <laughs> all right heineken presents oh come on sober except for coke <laughs> <laughs> um art featuring bank of america <laughs> uh jocks crocs and two smoking assholes <laughs> <laughs> you know, Childish Gambino's real name is just Gambino. <laughs> uh, kissy, kissy time. <laughs> uh, kissy, kissy time. <laughs> kissy, kissy time. That almost makes me like it more. I, almost, uh, I would go to kissy, kissy time. Yeah. Would, just to people watch. <laughs> By the uh, way, I, I almost feel like we were talking about pe- peeping toms before. Yeah, we were. And uh, kissy kissy time sounds grosser than that. It sounds it's like uh, simultaneously the most innocent and grossest thing that you could kissy, possibly kissy time yeah, totally. for adults to say. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. You want to do some kissy kissy time? Kissy time. Yeah, <laughs> but naked. <laughs> we'll get naked and kiss. <laughs> Just kiss him. Just kiss him. <laughs> but naked. And kiss. Nothing below the chin. Keep it above the chin, huh? Keep it above the chin, okay? We'll get naked, but nothing below the chin. Don't look. Yeah. I like I like this the misogynistic is, guy, uh, but he's just like a little prude. Yeah. All right, honey, keep the clothes on. Okay? The misogynistic Puritan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, women belong in the kitchen, fully clothed, kissing me. <laughs> nothing dirty. Not till we're married. <laughs> Not till we're married. And even then, <laughs> nothing dirty. Only until you're comfortable. Only on the weekends after my bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> women are good for two things: mm. loving and treating right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, misogynistic Puritan. I love that. Puritan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a misogynistic gentleman. Okay, here we go. World's largest bathroom line. Yeah. Oh, very tame Impala. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah. Damn. That's fucking, that's really clever. Uh, the gathering of the tank top idiots. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, God damn it. Uh, I'll go cowgirl hippie Halloween. I feel like <laughs> every picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's really accurate. That's like really accurate. Uh, yeah, yeah. Honestly, that's a great name for a lot of things. Yeah. That's, uh, there that's are I, there's got to be a rave called that. Cowgirl Cow hippie, hippie going to cowgirl hippie Halloween. That's such a yeah. good name. Yeah. <laughs> all right, my last one is Burning Man, but no thinking. That's all. Yeah. I have. <laughs> and this is my last one. On Sunday, everybody calls their dad. <laughs> 
And my last <laughs> one, no country music for old men. Yes. <laughs> this is for young people. We did it. That's <laughs> fucking great, dude. Dude, thank Hell you so yeah. much. Those dude. were so funny, man. Yeah, that was, that was so fun. fun. To do. Yeah, it's fun to do. It's like a fun what joke writing uh, exercise, I think. Now uh, we got uh, one more thing we're gonna do. We're gonna do with it. We're gonna oh, read yeah, our yeah. listeners' suggestions. And there were some good ones uh, I saw. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like they actually burned a lot of the good ones. Yes, because uh, they were so good. Yeah, some people are a little too funny. Yeah, we have some pretty funny listeners. Uh, we are at What's It Pod on Twitter. Follow us if you want to find out what we're renaming when we're renaming it. And uh, you reply to the tweet, we read our favorites on the show. And so here's how we'll do it. We'll like read off um, all our favorites that we see, and then you pick the winner. Oh, Nick. too much pressure. Sorry, oh, buddy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> all right. Wow. And the nominees are. <laughs> and the nominees for best Coachella name for 2022 Super Spreader event in Coachella, California are. I don't know <laughs> what the joke is here, but I do like it. Uh, at a sphincter says, uh, Craig T. Nelson Fest. <laughs> oh, he played coach. Yeah, yeah, but like, oh, Coachella. 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 Coach. God, and that's a God, coach. I got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, at the real Zach Still says, future home of the fentanyl massacre. <laughs> We got oh, uh, at Boogeyman Weather Fire Festival for cowards. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> at That's Seth Mills great. Privilege Fest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, we got a. Oh man, this one I actually like this one from uh, D Beat Bucket Hat said quantity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is that great? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quantity. Uh. The real Zach still again says shitty bartender Mecca <laughs> at deconsecrate Woodstock by Urban Outfitters. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, I yeah, like yeah, Woodstock yeah. by Urban Outfitters. <laughs> at Demiris says three musicians you've heard of and hundreds more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we got a. Oh, I like this one so dumb. I'm uh, at Call Me By Your Kevin. Coke Sella. Yeah, oh, nice. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, here we go. At Eric W. Barnes, Wood Stonks. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I saw that with the... Uh, with the, the meme. The, the, of the meme part is <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, you know what's funny is I gave a little uh, speech earlier about how it sucks that I only have negative feelings about Coachella, and it turns out everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's going. At Cindy Aravena Jr., Dehydration the Musical. Ooh. <laughs> That's very clever. Make sure to get your Pedialyte, have a water in between <laughs> your drinks. At Kevin Gets Rad, those STD billboards around LA Fest. That's, you know, it's so funny. I was trying to think of something. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. STD billboards. Totally. And that's, that's a pretty good way to do it. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, might, that might be my winner. Yeah. I like this one from at uh, Dustin Away. That place, uh, girl you work with, goes, but you're not sure how she affords it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, totally, totally. I'd strum my banjo. I hate my parents. <laughs> wow, this is just mean. At Age in Exile, white kids on drugs in dumb outfits. Damn. Straight to the point. <laughs> Ooh, I like from at Scotty Too Hotty, pumpkin spice white claw. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, man, is that a real thing? I want to find out. Yeah. At Kissy Boy 69, which, first of all, can we talk about how great your username is at KissyBoy69? He said, dude, where's my refund? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think, buddy? Mine, I'm dehydration. The musical's up there. Oh, Shannon Norman said, come Cella. Mm. Come Cella. That's just fun. Um, Craig T. Nelson Fest, Quantity. Oh, boy. I mean, Craig T. Nelson in the billboard thing. Oh, the uh, billboard one. I think yeah. I might go billboard. Yeah, well, yeah. Hell yeah. I feel like he cracked a code. Hell yeah. That I was looking for. At Ooh. Kevin Gets Red. Yeah. You got the Ricky shit this week. Hell, hell yeah, yeah, man. Nick, thanks so much for doing the show, buddy. Thank you so much for having me. It was so fun. Me. Dude, oh, can I plug great. something? Oh, of course. Oh, was... I have a... Um, uh, I, what, what, I, what did I want to plug? <laughs> I have a... Uh, well, oh. that's our time. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'll, I'll be at Coachella. This, uh... <laughs> no, man, you're fucking special. Oh, course. that's right. Yeah. Uh, disingenuous. <laughs> it's on Amazon Prime. It's Hell an yeah. independently produced thing. 
this is the only way I get the word out is uh, doing yeah. podcasts. Yeah, so I if get anybody it. could uh, give it a give it, it's it's a bizarre special. Yeah, watch, watch the trailer for it. Go to. I don't know. Go to nickvaderot.com. I think I'm tagged on the Coachella Twitter for this, <laughs> so maybe I'm on there. And then, uh, but give it a give it a world. It's it's it's. There's time travel in it. There's multiverse. Yeah, in it. there's it's actually really some good. stand up comedy in it. Thank you very uh, much. I watched it. I've never seen a special like it. Uh, I couldn't recommend it more. It's uh, no other special does that. It's like a movie. <laughs> it's like a movie that's a special. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Thanks. And it's also like yeah. I don't want to give too much away, but it's there's a lot of twists and turns. It's a very cool thing, well, and no one's ever done anything like it. You gotta watch it. Uh, it's really great. I thought literally, I was I was like. I planned it out. I, I got the special and I was like, I had my drink and I was like, had my popcorn. I was like, I'm just going to watch a special. You know, I don't do this awesome. that often, make a night of it. And I had, I thought it was just going to be an hour of your stand up and I was pumped. And then it turns out to be this next, le- it's so good. <laughs> thanks. Everybody's got to watch it. I watch appreciate it. it. I you. also sadly have not seen it and I'm so excited to. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, man. If you're like truly, I can't stress it enough. Nick is one of the funniest, most creative comics. So I'm so excited to see it. And watch it. It's also just cool to be like, man, I'm putting it out myself. It's on Amazon Prime. It's me doing it. It's just dope. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it also means we like actually need you to watch it. Yeah. And it's worth it. It's worth <laughs> it. It is worth the money. Yeah, it's worth yeah. every penny. I mean, it's great. It's <laughs> I know. really great. I need to like go up to one of those STD billboards and like, <laughs> yeah. analyze it and yeah. put that up there. Yeah, you know? Totally. Do you have an ST? Do you want your STD cured? Then check out this special. <laughs> it cures STDs. It cures STDs. Do you want an STD? <laughs> Try Coachella. <laughs> Try Coachella. <laughs> uh, where can people follow you and shit? Your website um, and stuff. Yeah, nickvaderot.com. I don't know. What are people doing now? I, I, are you guys doing? I, I'm. I'm I think TikTok is like the thing now. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we always do this where we make fun of a thing yes. until it's way too late to get on board. <laughs> yeah. And then everyone's like, yeah, I got like a million followers on I know. Know, with my stand up. And I was like, oh, I'm still on Vine. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> like, how? <laughs> yeah. You know what, though? I'll say about TikTok, I like, uh, I did the exact same thing. Yeah. And then I like got an account and then it was like hard and I stopped. But then at some point, like, Six months ago, four or five months ago or something, I was like, I'm going to do what people say and put yeah. videos up. And I will say more than any other thing I've started, it was less of a slog. Yeah. It, like there's a big period where it's still you got like 15 views on everything and you want to die when you look at your account. Right. But kicking out of that is like a little like I've been on it like half a year and I have almost the same amount of followers as I have on Instagram, which isn't as much as like, you know, a lot of other comedians we know. But uh but I would do it because I do think that the people who use TikTok are more likely to like something just because it's funny. Where on Instagram, it feels like the comedy videos that get popular are the ones that are like, uh, you got to hit women. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Right. Wait, but, how did this get in my feed? <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. COVID is fake. <laughs> what? Oh, God. what did I click? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Why does it think this is what I want? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and also like sometimes I feel like on on Twitter I feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I know we you know? we're in these like concurrent arcs where Twitter <laughs> is like near the end, Instagram's yeah. still peeking toward the top, but on the downturn, right. and TikTok is just going strong. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. It's also fucked up though because everybody on there, not everybody, there, there's a lot of children, and they're so mean. <laughs> they're just like <laughs> kids are mean. Yeah, kids are mean. <laughs> they're just the comments are just brutal, dude. It's just oh boy. Well, I here's the good thing about getting older is you, you don't know how to click on the comments. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, Snapchat I never figured out. I, <laughs> I tried to figure that out, and my phone broke. And then my I, TikTok, I, I was like, I couldn't figure out TikTok. TikTok for a while, it was funny because, like, on TikTok, I was posting videos for. I posted a couple of videos, and I had no followers. Yeah, and I'm literally just posting them to myself, and I'm like, well, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing this open mic that no one's yes. at, right, and right. I'm still performing, hoping somebody walks in. And then I posted a Conan clip. And then my Conan clip like got into some algorithm. Yeah. And then I started, you know, bringing people my way. And I was like, 
okay. Yeah. All right. And it's like a little, you know, so now I have people that, then I started having people and it's encouraging to, it's so, it is very hard to get the motivation to post to your TikTok when you have zero followers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is my exact experience and I went through the exact same thing and then I didn't even have a clip blow up and I was like, like venting to a friend, like, I don't even, how am I supposed to, I'm yeah. like looking 10 views on videos and I'm like, I, ha- I posted a clip. There was me doing stand up on television, and uh, the world was like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> and uh, and I was like, "How am yeah. I supposed to have the energy to do it?" And that's why I'm actually more encouraged about that one. And it's uh, funny to be giving like a little career pep talk to our listeners right now, yeah. and also myself. But like, uh, my friend was like, "It was just my Lutfi. It was like mm-hmm. who we've also had on the show. He was like, "You got to post every day, just like." Just post every day. And then I was like, uh, and then I still didn't do it. And then I had one more conversation at a at a show where a guy was like, young comics think of TikTok like an open mic. And I was like, oh, so it could suck and it doesn't matter. And then I, I just went through like a handful of of like, I didn't even post every day, but posting very regularly. And then I would get one of those that you're talking about. And yeah. then they would end up seeing my other videos. And it just seems more possible for someone to see your shit when yeah. you have one video or on Instagram, I feel like I'll be like, Ooh, I got 10,000 views on that. And then uh, I will lose 30 followers. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I, know. Uh, I, I was with the Chris rock mm-hmm. thing. I, I was like, I hadn't been on Twitter for a while. I I'm mostly not on it, but I, you know, you're sitting there and I'm like, well, I have to, this is, these jokes have to happen today. Yeah. Right, yeah. And then, right. and then I, I was like, I was saying a bunch of stuff that I was like, you're laughing. Yes. Instead of you sitting there going, what's something? I was like <laughs> laughing, but you know, I'd be lost eight followers. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't even know what I did to turn you off. <laughs> yeah. Like, a well, I think a lot take. of people di- like, cause I've done it before. You're like, who the fuck is this? I for accidentally have followed people. Yes. And uh-huh. I think if you tweet a lot, somebody's like, Who's I don't remember guy? following this guy. <laughs> That's exactly sometimes that. the yeah. follow button is just probably, right next to a name. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. they shouldn't yeah. put that button there. Yeah. Or you don't like follow it. them back, or something. Right. Like yeah, that. I've gotten some follows that I'm yes. sure were accidental. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Probably a certain amount of those eight that you lost, like looked at, like, does that guy follow me? I bet he doesn't fucking follow me. And then, like, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's so I'm. I, it's so it's supposed to bring the world together. It just makes us more petty. Oh, it's the I know. Worst. <laughs> but yeah, follow Nick Vatterout on TikTok, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Instagram watch and the Twitter. Special. And watch the special. And watch the special and then decide what you want to Go do. Go to with all me. of those places, please. <laughs> uh, yeah. we love you so much, man. Thank, Thank you guys. You. I love you guys. Hell Thank yeah. You. Lay down. What's it called? What's it called?